In this video, I'll show you two solutions to remove the decimal digits in a quiz score on a quiz result slide in Articulate Storyline 360. When I delivered a client project last week, I got feedback where I was asked if it was possible to not show the decimal points in the quiz score in my delivered storyline module. Now in this video, I'll show you two solutions to do this. One solution is with triggers in Articulate Storyline, and another solution is with a little bit of JavaScript added in Storyline. But first, let's take a look at the problem. Now I have here a, a quiz with six question slides and a result slide. Now let's preview this quiz. So I'll click preview this scene. Now Articulate Storyline will preview my uh, uh, preview my quiz. So I'll click on next and the first answer is right. So the first three questions I will answer correctly and the uh, four answers I will answer incorrectly. So I have two correct answers and four incorrect answers. And if I go, uh, click submit, we will jump to the quiz results slide and see what happens. So you see that my score is now 33.33% and my client wanted to show only 33% percent. Now on the Evening Heroes forums you can find a lot of old solutions that worked in Storyline 3 uh, but not in Storyline 3 and 360 because uh, Articula changed the handling of decimal numbers. But I want to show you two solutions that will solve this issue. Now, the first solution is a solution with triggers in Articula Storyline and the second solution is to add a few lines of JavaScript into Storyline. Now let's go to the first solution. So let's close the storyline preview and I will go to my result slide. But before uh, I'll show you the first solution, I want to mention that this great solution is provided by Mitch Asai on the Elon Heroes forum almost two years ago. Now, you can find a link to the forum thread in the description below this video. Now, what is the solution? Now the first step is to create a variable called floor score in storyline. So I'll go to my variables panel here and I'll click the green plus sign and type the name floor score and it will be a number variable and the default value is zero and I click on OK and I click on OK now. Now the floor in the variable name refers to the JavaScript function math.floor where it rounds down a number with decimal places to the largest integer and that is what we are now going to do with JavaScript uh, storyline triggers. I'll add a trigger now that sets the variable floor score to a 100 when the timeline starts on the result slide. So I create a new trigger that says adjust variable, adjust variable floor score that sets floor score to 100 when the timeline starts on this slide. So and the next step is to create another trigger where we subtract one from the floor score variable when this variable changes, just as long as the variable floor score is greater than the default particular storyline score. So let's create this variable. So what we'll do is adjust, adjust the variable floor score. So the floor score variable. And what we will do now is we'll set, subtract a one from floor score. When the timeline starts on this slide, will we, when the variable changes, so let me see where it is here a variable changes and it will be floor score and we also create a condition so the condition will be if our floor score variable is greater than and this will won't be a value but a variable and let's see where it is a results dot score dot a percent we are gonna use and click on okay now now, if our uh, storyline score is 33.33%, uh, 33 .33%, what we saw in the example, storyline subtracts one from floor score until it reaches 33. And then floor score is not greater anymore than the storyline quiz variable. And the trigger will not be executed again. So what we can do now is that on the result slide, we can change the reference to a uh, variable result.score percent into floor score. Now I will, uh, change this reference so we can see what it does. So I'll add floor score here. And now let's preview the module and answer the questions again. So I'm in the storyline preview again. So let's answer the first two questions correctly and the other four answers incorrectly. And six, and I'll submit and jump to the result slide. 
And what you see here, this is the standard storyline quiz score that shows 33.33%. And here at passing score, we changed it to the floor score and our floor score shows 33%. So this was the first solution in Articulate Storyline with Triggers. And I'll now show you the second solution with a little bit of JavaScript code. Now, and in the second solution, we'll add some JavaScript. But first, for the second solution, we need two variables. So let's go to our variables window and you need the variables non-rounded score and rounded score. So I already created them here, but you can create them here. And then we'll create a trigger. So I'll create a trigger and not execute JavaScript, but a just variable that says the non-rounded score will set it equal to the variable score percent. So let's see where it is. Results.score percent. When the timeline starts on this slide, and I will add it above the actions that will show the success and failure layer. And the next step is to add a trigger that executes JavaScript. So let's see where it is, execute JavaScript. Now it's red, so it means there is no JavaScript included right now. So if you click it, the JavaScript window will open. Now I can add my lines of JavaScript. So I will copy them here and I can explain what they're doing. So the first line of JavaScript will wrap all the storyline variables and uh, yeah, combine it uh, adds them to JavaScript so you can communicate. The second line uh, gets the value of the storyline variable non-rounded score and sets it to the JavaScript variable rounded uh, num value. Uh, for num value, we'll do a math truncate and that means that we'll uh, lose all the numbers after a, a comma or a digit and we'll save it in the the JavaScript variable j as rounded num. Now, and the JavaScript j as rounded num, the value therefore will put it in the rounded score variable. So let's click on OK and on OK here. Now, and here you see rounded score. So now we can test our, uh, our solution if it works. Now, because we will use JavaScript, we can't use the preview function function in Articulate Storyline, but we have to do it in the HTML output. So let's open HTML output now. So I have here now my Articulate Storyline HTML output. So what we'll do is I'll answer the first two answers correctly or questions correctly and the third and fourth and fifth and sixth incorrectly. And now I'll go to my results slide and you see here, this is the standard Storyline variable uh, score with 33.33% and this is the rounded num variables a score and you see it's 33 percent so in this video i will give you two solutions to uh yeah lose the dot 33 in your in the result slide score you can do it with triggers in article storyline or you can also do it with a uh, four lines of javascript i'm transforming my article storyline classroom training and also my youtube tutorials to a laser focused online course on how to create engaging e-learning training with article storyline now are you interested you can join my waiting list and you'll be the first one to know when my online course will launch. You can find the link to the waiting list in the description of this video below. And if you want to create great engaging e-learning in Articulate Storyline, make sure that you get my free step-by-step -step guide on how I create e-learning in Articulate Storyline. And I know for sure that it will help you because it describes my whole process that I use for every e-learning module in Articulate Storyline that I built. And was this video useful to you, then hit the like button below. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell notification icon so you won't miss any of my upcoming videos.